Hi, it's Nell, and I used to make a lot of um, seasonal decorations that revolved around things from Santa Barbara when I lived there from my garden, the farmer's market, all sorts of goodies. But now I live in Tucson, Arizona, and I'm going to make a wreath, a fall wreath, to hang on my front door, and it's going to be desert style, more specifically Sonoran desert style. So come on over to my work table and we'll make it together. So I'll get this party started by showing you the ingredients. Here is the wreath. I wanted it a little on the sturdier side because it's going to hold these pomegranates, which are fairly heavy. So they have been wired. And I have prickly pear fruit, choya fruit, these are green lemons that I picked off the tree just across the street from me. I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. There's also some little pine cones that are on a tree down there. I don't know if those are going on, but I'm going to use these acacia pods because I love those. And then these mesquite pods here. So, time to get going on this wreath. Pomegranates are all thoroughly dried out, as you can see. Beautiful day for a little painting out on the patio. Um, they aren't the most gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a wash or a brush with um, a combo of these two metallic paints. I will leave the links to these in the description box and also in the blog post if you want to get some of your very own. And I'm going to dip in the brush, get it kind of wet because I don't want a heavy, heavy coat. I'm going to take more on the bronze side, a little bit of the gold, and go dab, dab, dab. And then just do a wash. I'm just going to give them some shine. I want a little bit of the fruit to show through underneath. So this is the effect I'm going for. And here are the pomegranates all done. What I like about them is they still look like pomegranates that were picked off of my tree. They don't look like they were gold-leaved or silver-leaved or copper-leaved, just totally solidly done just to have a little bit of their naturalness showing through. And I have made twig wreaths before, vine wreaths before, but I didn't have a lot of time. I was in the San Francisco Bay Area doing a Halloween decorating job for like eight days and I've been really busy since I got back. So I thought, why, why make it when I can buy one? And I got this one at Save On Crafts. And I like it because it's nice and heavy it has it's really rustic looking it's not from the desert but it's going to be covered with things that i have found in nature in the desert right right around my house or in my garden the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to attach the tie and for this i'm using a piece of it's actually keychain lamp chain and you can buy it by the Get if you buy it by the foot or the yard at the hardware store. And this one has gotten kind of weathered a bit, so I really like the look of it with this wreath. The hardest thing to get on are the pomegranates because they're the heaviest and they, they uh, need to be wired on. So you can kind of figure out where you want them to go. Get your wires down in. Let's see. Got to get it in between the twigs. And then after you get it a little bit of glue on, you can attach it. And that looks fine for that one. So I want to put a little bit of glue on it. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to tie the wire in the back. What I'm doing as I'm going along is I'm tightening up the wire. Um, oops, other way. <laughs> I just went inside to get these. So you just kind of twist the wire around and that's going to tighten it up because I, I just want to make sure these pomegranates stay on. Okay, so the pomegranates are on. They're all uh, wired on really tight. A couple of them I had to glue on uh, because they were kind of flippy flopping around. And I soaked these fruits and they have uh, fine spines and a little bit larger spines in them and there still feels as though there's some 
fine spines in there, so I'm going to go ahead and just use these tongs to just hold them in place so I don't get any more in my paws. But I love the color of these, oh, these prickly pear ones. They're just gorgeous for fall. And they seem to dry pretty well, too, so I'm just sort of randomly going to cluster them around the, the pomegranates. Here's how it's coming along so far. The fruits are in. And I decided that I like the cones in here. I like them, you know, they're really kind of weathered and they look, um, I just like their look in there. So I'm going to go pick some more of those before I put the pods in. These are uh, pods here. And uh, then I'll be wrapping it up. And I know that it's not your typical look on a wreath, but it's October 17th and it's like 92 degrees. <laughs> Pine cones are glued on. And what's nice about them is, as I said, they're nice and light and they covered up some um, hot glue mistakes. <laughs> it's time for the acacia pods. I just love them because they're fun and they have a little touch of pink to them. So I'm going to dip them all the way in to where they're attached and that'll hopefully help to keep them together. And this is what, what I want to do with them. I just want them to be sort of playful coming out here and there. So I got the acacia pods in here and they were fine. And then I started to put the mesquite pods in and it just wasn't working for me. And those of you who craft and cook and create and you have something in mind and it's not turning out or even when you write and it's not turning out, then you get really frustrated with yourself. And I was like, ah, wah. I was just about to send the wreath flying like for a frisbee somewhere. <laughs> and I said, no, let's try to save it. So fortunately, my neighbor, Mary, had dropped off these leaves to me last week. They came from Mount Lemon, which is the highest mountain peak um, in the in the Santa Catalina range, which is right outside here in Tucson. I can see them right over there uh, the, in the mountains, and there's a little bit of color up there. So um, she brought me these leaves, and I dried them, and I was going to use them for something. So I said, I'll use them in this wreath. So it's not technically the Sonoran Desert, it's just outside the Sonoran Desert, just a, a short drive away. Here is the wreath in place over by my front door. It's in my entryway. It's right to the right of my front door, so you can see it when you're coming up to the door. It's a uh, welcoming sight, and I'm glad I didn't toss it like a frisbee. <laughs> I'm glad I kept it. So I hope you found this video to be helpful and interesting and maybe it'll inspire you to make a fall wreath for yourself. And I thank you so much for watching. I thank you for your likes and your subscribes and your comments. You know I appreciate them. So let's get out into nature and in the garden, do some creating and make the world a more beautiful place. Come back. I have a lot more videos coming your way and happy autumn. Happy fall. This wreath could certainly go into Christmas too, so it can be used throughout the holiday season. Thanks so much.